Welcome back. Let's talk about driving. It is getting more dangerous. The U.S. is seeing more deadly car crashes, and law enforcement agencies are trying to figure out exactly why this is happening. Well, let's head to Jake Carroll Lexus, who is in Washington State for us tonight. Jake, what have investigators learned about this trend? Well, Anthony and Tia, police say this all started during the pandemic. Fewer drivers on the road and a smaller police presence led to people driving more dangerously. And even though traffic has returned, safe driving hasn't. We had more than 300 tragic fatalities just last year, and it's something that we're trying to combat every day. During the height of the pandemic, fewer people were commuting. Travel safety experts say those who were on the road tended to speed more, drive while impaired, and skip the seatbelts. That's been a part of what we've seen in the pandemic, and we've seen that continue to be a problem as we've come out of the pandemic. The latest Transportation Department data estimates just under 31,800 traffic deaths in the first nine months of last year. That's a little less than during the same time frame in 2021, but well above the numbers from 2020 and 2019. Every fatality is a trickle effect. It affects the family, it affects the community, it affects the first responders. Hodgson says her department has had a hard time finding enough officers to patrol the roads. There are shortages in staffing across the nation. We feel that too in our agency. And we're focusing also on hiring to help fill those positions so that we can have a better presence to help make that go down. Harkey says police presence and strategy need to improve to reduce the number of deadly accidents. We need to do a better job at enforcement, identifying those high crash locations and putting in interventions that we know work. And the U.S. Department of Transportation says both motorcyclists and pedestrian deaths increased during the first half of last year compared to the same time period in 2021. In Olympia, Washington, Jake Carolexis, Fox 32 Chicago. Thank you for that.